Yes, yep. Oops, sorry. Yeah, you got it. Got it before it kicks you out. Got it. Yes, I got it. <laughs> okay. Awesome. We are live. Welcome, everyone. Hello. We are back on tea across the miles. <laughs> it has it's been. Live. We've been on a bit of a hiatus for the holidays, and uh, and and now we're back. I haven't seen you. Well, I have on calling all tea timers, but not for this. Not since November. Right, because I can't remember. Okay, so we did some, we did it the end of November, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, and then December was no. Right. Because <laughs> it was December. Too many things, yes. <laughs> yes, and now January 25th, <laughs> we're finally ready. <laughs> Gosh, is it the 20th? It is. It's been a month since Christmas. Star yeah, yeah, wow. it's nuts. And I okay. feel like Christmas feels forever away, but at the same time, like, stuff is still out and needs to be put up <laughs> like, not decorations but just like hodgepods of like uh like gift wrap and stuff oh like, yes the it, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Odds and ends. yeah it's not oh. um but we are doing something a little different today yeah. uh so we are going yeah <laughs> nancy is going to show you all of mine is going to come mysteriously out of my rose garden <laughs> I love it. Well, Amy has treated me to um, a week's worth of dessert. <laughs> um, we one have, hour. <laughs> what's that? I said a week's worth in one hour. <laughs> one hour. In one hour. Uh, yeah. And they, they smell, I've already heated them and they're sitting in front of me. As you can see, my little spoon's ready to go and they smell, oh my gosh. I, I imagine this is what Mary Berry's kitchen smells like all the time. It's hilarious. Um, like sweet pud. Yeah, sweet pud. So... Mm -hmm. We have, yes, yeah, so we have our three teas to taste today as usual, but then we've added in. Um, so through my uh, UK food supplier, when I was there picking up other stuff, she was showing me the steamed puds that they offer and they come in two packs. So I was like, well, I'll take one of each and try them out and I'm gonna have Nancy try them out. <laughs> so I, I, I am privileged, I am I'm thrilled. And as I posted, if you saw, um, yeah my uh, Facebook and my Instagram page that um, Amy also gifted me some F&M or Fortnum and Mason um, teas well, this week. And oh, thank I you. Just been wishing for them like with like hours, just a couple right. of hours and suddenly they showed up at my doorstep. Um, Amy you. also worked for Lighthouse Diamonds. Next time I'm going to be dreaming about diamonds, Amy. Oh, right. Yeah. Next time. That's what you're hoping for. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so this is, let's see, auntie's steamed puds mm -hmm. and where Let's see, Auntie, I don't see a story for Auntie, but <laughs> so we have the infamous, I should say in American terms, if anybody has heard of this before, uh, Spotted Dick. <laughs> You're hearing me right, folks. <laughs> yeah. And, and not sure why it's called that. There, they, I know that there's not a, um, a risque or- Yeah, there's not. Yeah. Reference. Um, I, yeah. I wonder if it has something to do with like a King Richard or something. I, I wonder. Know. The spots being, of course, the raisins that are in it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then we have sticky toffee, which I've heard of, but never had. And then a delicious golden syrup, which yeah. I've had golden syrup, but I've never had golden syrup pudding. Yeah. So. <laughs> and, and learning how to make sticky toffee is on my to-do list. I've always wanted. Oh, really? To. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't oh. yeah. Well, I already learned. It's it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the tinfoil lid and pop it exactly. in the yeah. There you go. That's great. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so we can add our water to our teas. And we'll start that. Do you want to introduce the teas that you've um, yes. sent to me too? Yeah. So where my teapot is very hot, even though you can't see it. <laughs> so, um, so we have a Scottish coffee uh where thank you where <laughs> i can never say it i know never trying to help me um and then we have a orchard herbal chai and which is um oh yeah and the scottish yeah for those of you who don't know the what is it prayer where where thank you <laughs> so that is a, a black tea Mm -hmm. And then so we have our herbal tea, which is an orchard chai, and 
then a green tea, which is sweet cinnamon green tea. And there isn't one of them that doesn't smell heavenly before you even add the water to it. Though the cinnamon really came forward. And it's interesting because I'm looking, we, we are looking at three very different colors too. So we definitely have- Yeah, I'm looking at that now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the caramel for the puer and um, the orchard chai herbal is coming out very pink. Yes, it is. Yeah. And um, the sweet cinnamon green is um, a yellow color. Um, so, wow, they all look fantastic. I can't wait to dig in. Hoping that I mentioned to Amy, I have a small headache coming on and a lot of times okay. caffeine helps with that. So yes. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Get caffeine going. Yes. Um, so uh, we, I will, I will bring up probably before it happens, uh, <laughs> I have extra cats now and I can hear one of them rustling around at the queen's feet to my left. <laughs> they're rustling the rose bushes. Are they in the rose bushes? Yeah, they're in the rose bushes and the queen is hiding back there too. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, but yes. Now. Yes. yes. Cats now. Yes. So um, the reason why is because around Christmas, I think um, Piper's dad and stepmom found out that their son is really allergic to cats and they like test they tested him and found out like apparently they can find out if it's the kind you're going to grow out of or not and apparently it's the kind that you won't grow out of and will wow, likely get out. worse <laughs> yeah. yeah that's not good so they were reaching out to me just since i know so many people like hey can you keep you know ask around for helping to how you know rehome these cats and I said, since I'm in a new place, it's a lot bigger. I said, I was like, well, I'm kind of tempted to offer to try to take them. I go before cats is kind of a lot. And they were like, yeah, it is like, it is like they couldn't, you know, uh, shove them. She was like, I can't even believe that you're offering like to do that, you know? And I was like, well, we could try. And so, um, yeah, so they're going to help, you know, with extra expenses and stuff. Well, very nice. Yeah, one of them. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, so basically January 7th was the, the drop-off day. They've been here since January 7th, and okay. all four cats are coexisting fine. So the first night, there was a lot of growls between uh, the, the new female and my uh, oldest male, <laughs> and okay. they were not happy. So... Yeah. She's the only female out of the four, and I, I believe that what they've worked out <laughs> is, that, is that she is the matriarch of the family, and Wiggums is the patriarch. So I believe they rule the house together. Okay. They, they get in. Yeah. I, I, I get in. Ask, where do you fit in in the lineup? Yeah, right? <laughs> right now. Who knows? I'm their servant. <laughs> So, uh, but explaining to Piper, like, you know, it's like, well, they're just trying to get, you know, figuring out like who's in charge, like they're just, you know, and she goes, well, don't they know I'm in charge? <laughs> like, fair point, but right. Yeah, good, yeah, good luck telling that to the kids. <laughs> So she was trying to tell them she was like white kitty. She's like, I'm in charge. I'm a princess. Because <laughs> okay. yeah, they listen to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's actually, I feel like I was able to use the excuse of like, oh, look at me. I'm like, you know, the cat, the cat savior. And now Dave and Shemnam can visit their cats and you know, whatever. They haven't totally lost them. Oh my and, god. And um so it was like a good excuse to have so many cats, but then I realized after like a week or so, I was like, I kind of really like having four cats around. <laughs> it's really interesting. And the cat lady. You got the yeah. cat lady. So it was like, yeah. now that I've like really embraced it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, yeah. that's a lot. That's good it though. Is. But they are, it is funny. There's like kind of never a dull moment. They're always doing something goofy or cute. So what, what was this? What did you just do over here? It looked like you were petting the Oh, that's funny. It's my water bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. And just, you know, I, I don't I didn't think about that. <laughs> I thought maybe that was the invisible cat and you were giving it a <laughs> Wait. snuffleupagus just walked into my room. Can you see him? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's an old Sesame Street reference yeah. in case anyone doesn't get that. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. I would say I remember Snuffleupagus. <laughs> <laughs> so 
where should we start? Okay, I mean, so you leave you. Yeah, where to start? Um, let's start with our um. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Let's do. You want to do sweet cinnamon green? That sounds good to and, me. And that one is with our golden syrup, correct? Okay. You want so, to do the, the the pudding first or the tea first? Yeah, I know. It's, I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna put sugar in my tea first. I know. <laughs> to prepare I know. it for our style of tastings. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'd never be hired by Twinings or Bigelow or any That's of those funny. companies. Yeah, you're talking about the smells of these teas, and as you know, I like very, I don't know, fun, special, whatever, smell good blends, and mm -hmm. I had my uh, sister-in-law text me yesterday and it was a text that just said, do you like white tea? And I was like, I, I feel like this is a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know which way she's going with this. So I just said, uh, yeah, especially if it's blended with something interesting, right, right. why do you ask? And then she was like, I just discovered it. It's great. And I was like, oh, okay. And she said, what, what kind do you have? And it was like, mango i don't know papaya something very tropical i was like okay right. good. so she just wanted to tell me about her tea but i was like don't send me a bunch of plain white tea <laughs> <laughs> no no i do like my my white teas i prefer to be fruity um like white blueberry or... oh yeah yeah i have a white lemon lemon i remember that one yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right that one yes okay so, so i guess let's take a sip of the tea all right we well, can take cheers to bite. you Yes. Cheers. Yeah. Ha happy Cheers, yeah. 2022. <laughs> That's right. Happy 2022. Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. So cinnamony. Mm. Oh, smells so good. Yeah. For a green tea, that is terrific. Yeah. That's well, really good. Yes. You know that I don't do much green tea, but um, right. this is now tea. I think at least the second green tea that you introduced me to that I yeah. really enjoy. Look at that. The cherry rose jubilee. Yes, yes, yeah. And then I say, and it is cinnamon, but it's not like spicy cinnamon. Like that's no. why I call it like sweet cinnamon. But yeah, it's very not like uh, obnoxious. No, I have <laughs> or it's not like a chai, yeah, or a Christmas yeah. tea. When I first yeah. smelled it, I thought, oh gosh, I hope this doesn't resemble um, the uh, red hots I, or cinnamon. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't like cinnamon gum. I don't like red hots, but it oh, interesting. it's much more fragrant than it is in taste. The cinnamon mm -hmm. gum, which is for me, that's really good. Perfect. It's just yeah. subtle. That's awesome. And then it doesn't overpower my taste buds. All right. It's time for now. Have you ever had any British pudding before? I have. I have had sticky toffee before. Okay. So I've never had any. This is my first bite of pudding ever. <laughs> And for those of you at home that don't know, I'm familiar with British pudding. It is nothing like American pudding. It's essentially no. like little cakes and some kind of like gooey deliciousness. <laughs> like, like a syrupy and sometimes um, it's a warm cream is poured over it. Oh, um, right. That's cream. true. Yes. Yes. So. Mm. Delish. Really Very good. sweet. <laughs> Very sweet, but very good. Yeah. Now, have you had golden syrup before on its own? I guess they also call it treacle. Treacle, like a treacle tart, treacle pudding. Um, I don't uh, know if I have. It, okay. In color, it reminds me like a brown, what do they call it, the um, brown rice syrup. I've had that before, and it's similar to oh, that. Okay. It's, it's, to me, it's like a mix of almost like honey and syrup, but it's like somewhere in between. You're right. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it lacks the maple that, Mm -hmm. you would normally associate syrup with. You're right, it does lean more toward a honey. Mm -hmm. So but that is not a criticism. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to oh, say- the And the texture, one. the texture is really good too. It's, it's yeah, like it's a, a, an extremely moist cake and there's a tiny bit of chewiness to it too. It's very good, I like that. I'm trying to think of like, it reminded me of something Maybe like a really, the texture wise, maybe like a super moist carrot cake or something. Like, do you like that? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Really good. Very good. 
So that's awesome. what the pumpkin has the syrup on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm glad you thought to yeah flip them over in their cup because <laughs> all the syrups on the bottom. Yeah, I'd be like, we need right. to the honey. <laughs> <laughs> My, that's so, good. Then our next one is our herbal uh, orchard chai. All right. Get this out of here and get the sugar. <laughs> I already warned my uh, son number two. When you come home, I'll be online. Oh, I love it. And hubby's downstairs where he oh, works boy. in the basement. He's oh, okay. because of Omicron. They've just said, let's everybody work from home for a couple of weeks. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're like, yeah. <laughs> so we're all in the house. <laughs> Since December 17th. That is nuts. So... Okay, but the the second son you said is out of the house, right? So like you guys are able to leave, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, um, right as they were getting ready to go back, we had mm -hmm. a huge snowstorm. So instead of returning to school on January second, we were home for an additional week because of frozen roads and things like that. And then at the very tail end of that, son number two tested positive for COVID. We're pretty sure son number one had it, so we all had to quarantine further. Lovely. And number two, who did not particularly be a fan of school, was like, when do I get to go back? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so that says something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I who usually get the house to myself. Um, and I had that week planned to be able to put away Christmas things, when it, like right after Christmas, starting January 2nd. I've yet to have the house to myself um, oh my since gosh. December 15th, something like that. So, um, so I ran a lot of errands today. <laughs> I was just say, so when and, that day comes, it's going to be a big day. <laughs> <laughs> I love my family and I know they love me, but right. there's a reason why people need to miss each other. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Anyway. Everybody, All right. everybody needs their space. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. All right. So this one is the you said orchard, the orchard chai herbal. Orchard chai herbal. Yes. It's, I don't know. If, I guess it's the fruitiness I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. Very good get that or that you know, like an apple yeah yes. like an apple orchard it's very pink it is very, very yeah pink. it's maybe very bright there's hibiscus in it maybe yeah i think there's hibiscus um let me see i'm gonna pull it up because i know i have all of these uh written down i think it'd be a grapefruit in there um let me see so that noise is a cat <laughs> playing Chances are. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Piper so uh, kindly placed one of their cat tunnel toys next to my desk yesterday, and I realized it's still there. So now they're just rustling around in a cat tunnel mm -hmm. <laughs> right. right next to me. Um, okay. Very good. Uh, there's a, there is that sourness to it. I'm not sure if that's what's the apple trying to come out. Let me see. I gotta find my Google Docs. Where are my Google Docs? Here they are. This reminds me of one of those um, wine champagne teas that you and I tried some months back. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, was it maybe the sangria one herbal? Could be. Could be. Okay, orchard herbal chai. So it is an exotic blend of dried apples, hibiscus rose hips cinnamon and a spicy indian chai mix interesting i don't get spicy and i, I don't get um cinnamon yeah mm -hmm. yes you're right i get way more like fruity mm -hmm. i guess now because it's said to notice the cinnamon i can taste it <laughs> but it's nothing like the sweet cinnamon that you know no, it's not powerful at all i get some of the rose in there too though i think that but uh, definitely oh, right. the rose hips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very good uh, yes very nice and, and it's very beautiful nice. too this would be a fun one this because it has a juice quality because of the apples right um, I, I could see this uh for like a girl's birthday party oh that's a good point mm -hmm. yeah okay well, i um, think a, spa a splash of bubbly in that would go a long way ooh. too or sparkling Girl scouts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sparkling cider would be good. Sparkling yes. cider would be very good. That's so, true. Um, let's see. I was going to go back to see if there's anything special about the sweet green 
Uh, obviously, so it says cinnamon pieces, rose petals, and yeah, it's a honey like finish. So there was some rose in the last one. All right, let's see. So now we have sticky toffee, a ste steamed pud. <laughs> mm. And I gotta say, I'm not a fan of American pudding, so I wish our puddings were like this. <laughs> well, now you know where to get them. So I know, yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay. Yep. Definitely with the toffee, yeah, the caramel, caramel taste. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Buttery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's very good. Mm-hmm. Does not disappoint. No. So how did this, do you remember the sticky toffee that you've had before? It was darker in color. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it was one we, where we poured the warm cream over it. Oh, right, right. Yes. Yeah, I actually have a custard cream mix from the same supplier. Is that right? Not, I've yet to bother to make it, <laughs> but it's supposed to be, I believe it's supposed to be like a quick instant thing where you just like put in the powder and probably mix in water mm -hmm. or milk or whatever. Like a pale yellow color, mm -hmm. like Devin, okay, yeah. Devin mm -hmm. custard. Yeah. So up here, and I would think down there too. Um, so we don't have Publix, although I understand we have one forty-five minutes away now. Publix is really? tr Publix is trying to invade us, mm. and I really don't have a problem with that. One of the things that Jose and I miss are, is from Florida yeah. is, is Publix, but our giant is very good. And, and I tell you what, you guys don't have Wegmans, and Wegmans isn't a superlative grocery store um, oh. where my food supply too. Um, but um, what, where was I going with? Oh, so in our giant, um, there is a British goods section, very small, but uh, in a little can, you can get Devon, um, what we would call a pudding. And um, okay. they call it, it's not cream. I can't quite, oh, custard, thank you. So uh, we would call it pudding, they would call it custard. And it's very, very mild. And I made shortbread cookies with it one time and um, served it with it where you just kind of dip and eat. And it's very good. And that actually, when I was looking for something um, British goods in the stores easily two years ago, and one of the guys just happened to ask the only Scottish person in a 25 mile radius who yes. has working at Giant. And he said, let me show you with his accent. And he showed it to him. He said, I really think this is very good. He said, this is the closest thing to home I found. So um, it was very good. So if, if awesome. it's if anything like that, um, it can be served with something like a cinnamon because it balances out a strong flavor with something very mildly right. sweet. Yeah. Right, that's good. true. Yeah. So I, I will still be able to talk, but now I'm going to go grab the jar. I'm going to yeah. pop into my cottage here. Huh? <laughs> grab it. Can I disappear into the garden? Yeah, yeah. But it is, I have it in my... On my baking shelf, I believe. Um, oh no. And I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy oh, this. All right, I'm not gonna hang on over here forever. I'll have to take a picture when I find it. Um, Cause it's, the brand is Birds. I just remember it's, yeah, the brand is Birds and it's like a powder mix. Okay, B-I-O-D-S or B-Y? Uh, I think it's Bird, like the animal, B-I-R-D, yeah um Great. yes so um i'm gonna take my prepare my scottish uh toffee who air who air thank you <laughs> i'm like i'm like i know you just told me and i still like i had to refresh that when i was I'm like how's that again it's for those who don't pu dash e r h so right. it's pronounced puer and again, I can't recall if it's an actual tea or if it's more of an herbal. It, so it is a real, it is an actual tea. And I, I do have uh, the uh, explanation of it. So, uh, 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 okay, so uh, it says, so the puer uh, is known that it exhibits, let's see, a musty, earthy character, but when combined with the sweetness of caramel and toffee, it delivers a sweet, burnt, sugary flavor that's perfect blend. Um, and mm -hmm. let's see, but why does it say 
What is puree? But it is a black tea from China, but it's processed a certain way. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I smell it, mm -hmm. I get that earthiness. Mm -hmm. I get that toffiness mm -hmm. that kind of lends a hint of coffee. Do you smell that? Oh yeah, I do smell that. Yeah. For some reason, it's making me think of like the beach. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's very coffee. Maybe like it, maybe like a, a tanning oil. <laughs> okay, I can see that. Like, cause I have some tanning oils that smell really good. <laughs> not, not that I use tanning oil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not right now, I don't. <laughs> I usually put tanning oil in my tea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what do you think? You taste it. It's really good. Yeah. I get a coffee. Yeah, I say it's definitely our boldest one. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, but it is, it's good. I don't know, I guess I like it because it is kind of like still like, it is a black tea, so you get black tea qualities, but it's got right. the nice sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I like that coffee toffee quality going on there too. I like that. That's really interesting. Like, yeah, because I'm not a coffee drinker either. So that's really interesting. I do taste it though. And that's about as much coffee taste as I can take. <laughs> exactly. I, I really, I like it. I, yeah, I yeah. It's really good. It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. I'm gonna. Okay, so I can't let it go. Okay, so puer tea is post-fermented which means that the tea leaves go through a microbial fermentation process after they been, right after they've been dried and rolled makes so much sense i get that right yeah i'm like oh, oh okay a microbial oh, yeah. process that sounds delicious <laughs> it was not microbial. One of I, I couldn't quite remember the word microbial but now yeah it totally makes sense don't you say that. right yeah yeah i was like i thought we want everything like anti make microbial <laughs> And two, you know, for Amy and I who studied um, or researched teas um, on a very superficial but fun level. Um, so teas are not actually, the process isn't actually fermenting. It's not like, um, uh, like kimchi, like, you know, something that's actually oh, right. yeah. rotted, part of, partly, but that was the, that was the uh, process. That was the name that they gave what they do to the leaves. Um, it's not clinically or chemically right. it's fermented. Right, like it's not like uh, uh, what, like wine and stuff like that, right? This right, right, great. or cabbage <laughs> yeah. or things yeah. that you normally avoid that are fermented. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so now okay. it is time for the grand. Body rich. Body, Body rich. rich. I'll say it. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't know. I really like that sticky toffee. I do too, and I have to this say, one doesn't seem, this one doesn't seem very saucy. <laughs> no, there, there, it doesn't seem, and I don't think there is with, with Spotted Dick. I don't think they have any of that, so. Mm -mm. It smells good though. Okay, I gotta get some of the spots. <laughs> mm. Do you normally like raisins? Um, I do, but I don't like a ton of them. Like, Essentially, like I always think Raisin Bran, when mm -hmm. they like advertise the two scoops, I'm like, can you do like one scoop, please? <laughs> two scoops is too many. Find the cheap brand, you know, like the non-brand. Oh, that's true, yeah, right? Scoop, you know? Yeah, but they're always trying to keep up with the two scoops. <laughs> I do. Funny. So Amy's sitting there every morning picking out the Raisin I know, scoops. yeah. Yeah, well, now that they sink to the bottom, that's the problem is that at the end of the bowl of cereal, you've been left with like all these raisins because they sink. So I'm like- Sugar-coated. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so what do you think of it? I think it's good. And I don't like raisins very much. Oh, okay. I'm not, but it seems like, okay. put it this way, I never normally go toward raisins, but if it's in something, it's I tend to enjoy yeah. it, which is, I don't know how else to explain that. Right. And right. If I have a choice between a plain raisin, a uh, plain bagel, or a cinnamon raisin bagel, I'd rather go for the plain. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, so seeing a bagel, I would like it because that's never they don't ever do it in bagels, and usually like cookies, oatmeal raisin, that's fine. I mean, I'm never gonna pick that one, but if I'm given it, <laughs> right, it's it's fine. I guess I mainly have a 
<laughs> I have beef with Raisin Bran, I suppose. <laughs> um, See, we're trying to give you too much, Amy. <laughs> I know. So I was gonna say, so now I was gonna say that my raisins were like giant, but now I'm picking up little ones. So I swear I had like my first bite, maybe it was like a couple raisins stuck together. They looked a giant, but now they look mm -hmm. normal. Well, never mind. I was gonna talk about the giant raisins, but they don't exist. <laughs> so. They are rather small. Yeah. No, no, I got a big one. That one's normal size. Right. So I wonder what like are the I guess the cakes are different. Um, my spoon broke. <laughs> although, yeah, like, let's see. Because the sticky toffee one from the picture almost looks like spotted dick with sauce, but I guess there wasn't raisins in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't know. But these are very good. And I think it's, it makes me laugh that they come with foil uh, tops. Okay. <laughs> like. And, yeah. and, like, and you they have to be microwaved to heat up. I was like, this is just dangerous expecting everyone to take off the lid perfectly. <laughs> the tinfoil should never go in the microwave. I know, I know. Now I have a question for you. So why are you, you said this is a tasting. Is this something, is this product research for you? Uh, yes, a bit. So I was just curious um, because they're not, uh, they're not, inexpensive so they it would be something to carry them but they do have a decent shelf life so it's not at least it wouldn't be like they had to go out the door within a month you know or two okay so i was just curious that i figured well one i should see if i even like them <laughs> and then i was like well i've got two packs obviously i'm gonna send them to nancy <laughs> i love the obviously thank you for the I obviously. Know, yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I am now going back to the sticky toffee. I, it's funny, I did the same thing. I did mm -hmm. the same thing. It's very good. But although I have to say, I really like the golden syrup. So if I, if, that's true. If you were to rate them, could you rate them now? Mm -hmm. uh, if let you me had to go with one, which one would you do? Let me take the golden syrup one again. <laughs> Refresh my memory. Hmm. I would go sticky toffee. I feel like it's sweet, but it's a different sweet from golden syrup. Mm -hmm. Golden syrup can sometimes be like real, real sweet. <laughs> oh no, they're both so good. Mm -hmm. They're both so good. <laughs> you have, you have to pick. <laughs> I need another bite. <laughs> Your life depends on it. <laughs> My life depends on this. The obviously that Amy included previously depends on if I get another obviously the next time. Okay. <laughs> mm. I don't know. I think it's a toss up. Um, I'll go with sticky toffee too. Okay. I am partial to it. Okay. It, and it's good. It's very good. I, I, right. Neither one of us picked the spotted dick though, right? No, huh? Yeah. It's too dry it's after having the ones, yeah, with mm -hmm. like syrup. And it's like, what's this? Dry cake with raisins? <laughs> Bit of a letdown. Yeah. What and, about your but, even like, but like compared to our cake, it's still a moist cake, but it it's is. like, you know. Yes. That's hilarious. Yeah. So my, my mom's trying to FaceTime me right now. I doubt she means to be. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Mumsy. <laughs> Talk to you later. <laughs> Cause she never FaceTime calls me. We always FaceTime call her like for Viper. <laughs> yeah, it must yeah. be an accident. It's a butt dial of some kind. Yep, yep, yep. yeah, hilarious. So would you rate your teas? Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. So it is tough because they are all very different. They're very different. So it's three different types of tea. Um, I'll say the Scottish toffee one I've been drinking a lot on my own, um, like in the mornings and stuff. Uh, so I like it more as probably a morning first thing. And then- I see that. Like I said, with that, with, especially with the coffee. Yeah, yeah this, um, the orchard chai, what do I, 
it's good. I'm trying to think. It kind of reminds me of like the berry, like blue lagoon one that I have, which probably makes sense because I think that has like apples and hibiscus and stuff in okay. it too. Um, so I guess obviously I like it, but it's not that it is a uh, a super new taste to me. <laughs> super new. No, I, I like it for a breakfast though. If you're somebody who likes to have the cinnamon bun in the morning. Oh well, yeah. I, I could say this being something that you'd like. It would compete with it a little bit, but I think it would be right. very good. Yeah. yeah. So so that's so your Scottish puer is number one. Your orchard is number two then, and the cinnamon is three for you. Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, actually, sorry. I was just retasting them and talking along the way. Oh, so okay. actually, cinnamon, the sweet cinnamon green is going to be my number one for today. It that's is, what, okay. Yeah, that tastes the best to me today. Um, and then, uh, then I think it'd be the herbal chai and then the Scottish one, which is funny because I do like the Scottish puer tea normally. Uh, but right now, I don't know if it's just cause I'm like on the sweet cake with the puddings and whatever else, but, uh, yeah, the sweet cinnamon is what I, <laughs> what I'm enjoying the most today. So how about you? Uh, definitely the Scottish toffee puer. I love mm -hmm. this one. I, I really like that hint of coffee. Okay, um, awesome. That being coffee. Right. Um, and I would say number two for me is the um, cinnamon green. I, nice. I really like that one. And then the third to me would be the orchard chai herbal. Right. Awesome. Yeah, that's where, that's what my tongue says. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Excellent. And, and the puddings win <laughs> unanimously. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah you'll text me when we get off because yeah I really like the Scottish toffee one it is yeah yeah I'll yeah I could see that I'll, I'll look you up. a good offering I think yeah yeah I'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um yes yeah, yeah, so uh let's talk 2022 it is the platinum jubilee year for the it queen is. It is. Yay. Can I can I put a pause on it real quick since we're talking? Yes. Uh huh. One more thing, and I should have brought this out. Give me one second. I'm gonna ask. Okay. You, All right. You know this. <laughs> find this. Sorry to go off air real quick. Let me see. I mean that's all right. I went into my cottage for a minute. Right. Right. I went into my butler pantry. Um. Okay. So we got a um, wine country gift basket for Christmas from Jose's parents. And as you know, it comes with the wine, comes with crackers and, and you know, okay. tiny cookies and things like that. So one of the things it came with, let me put my glasses on again and try to show you as best I can. This is called, um, it's the underground, and I do mean London underground, underground toffee or, or fudge company. Do you see that? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I see it. See the oh, eye right down here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The box and there's the, the Union Jack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very cute. Yep. Yeah. And so there were three little fudges in here. Now their fudge is not our fudge. Their fudge is more of a caramel type of fudge. Right. Which I would like much more. I don't it's like our fudge. The cutest tiny that little. That is so package. cute. Too oh cute. my goodness. Would be adorable in yeah. a gift box. Oh, that Can't wouldn't find it anywhere. So I I not, it I've not heard of that company, but I can talk um, to my people and see, see what, what they've got. Find. So what I've, I found, and I think, um, I think wine country gift baskets, I think they get their products from certain manufacturers that just try to come up with whimsical, cute right. things. And I did come, I looked them up the other day and I don't have it with me. Um, was it the CPF, CPA Manufacturing Company somewhere in California. And I think this is just one of the plethora of products that they kind of put out, but I still couldn't find what I was looking for to be able to pick up the phone and go, where can I get five dozen of these, you know? Um, right, right, right. So yeah, so Amy, take note of this. That that so, that yes. so it's called yeah. the Underground Fudge Company? Fudge Company, Underground okay. Fudge Company. And um, I think this is apropos, perfect. Yes. That's brilliant. Very, and it's delicious to boot, let me tell you. 
They are very good. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I would love to know where to get a hold of those. And I think they would be very good for something that you do, something that I would like to do, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah. That's for sure. So, yeah, I, I was typing it in. So I've got please, the Google oh, very results good. You, when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. so, going back, yes, okay. a single year, 70 years in the throne. Yes. Awesome. Crazy. Awesome. Yes. And uh, it is, let's see. So it officially, she officially, I guess, starts the uh, Jubilee or whatever. The record starts on February 6th. So we're coming up. It's getting close. Wow. But then the that. actual okay. celebrations, well, they're like throughout, but you know, it's like the big ones are in June. Yes. Um, yes. Because of the weather. Yes, because of the weather, but they do have, like, uh, I was reading, there's a whole, like, basically, there's a website just for the Jubilee celebrations, what the plans mm -hmm. are, and lots of, you know, little local places and towns, like, they're doing their own celebrations at different points uh, for the Jubilee, so okay. not everybody's waiting till summer, <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, and with the British Chamber that I'm a part of, British American Chamber, uh, we're doing some fun things uh, that we are basically one of the things that we're trying or that we are in talks with um, is there's a new Gordon Ramsay restaurant out at Icon Park, which is what where like the wheel is, like okay. instead of the London Eye, there's the Orlando Eye. Right, <laughs> and, right. And, and we have connections there. One of our board members manages the whole place. So um essentially our plan is that when uh it works out time-wise for the restaurant since they're new and like doing stuff or getting going um we're gonna host an event there and we're gonna also tie in the queen's jubilee as part of the celebration so it's all <laughs> yeah very good and you'll never guess who in the board meeting brought up that it's the queen's jubilee <laughs> Could the, be the American. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. That's right. Oh my goodness. So nobody else was thinking that. So yeah, everyone they're like, oh right. Well, I guess we could do it as part of Corn Ramsey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. So, okay. Well, I'm glad you're doing it. So you're doing some sort of festive dinner? Uh yeah. So we I don't even know what it's all gonna be yet. So I don't know what we're doing there. I know I think. They, of course, probably the main thing is like fish and chips or whatever at the restaurant, probably. Okay. I don't know okay. what else. Um, honestly, I know of Gordon Ramsay. I have never watched anything with him. I believe he's the shouty one. Is he not? Is he like? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yes. In the Hell's, Hell's Kitchen, something like that. I don't, I don't know. Yes, know. there it is. Hell's yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So, but he's a Brit. So we'll, we'll take him. <laughs> And, and he's a name, uh, yeah. And like, I have some people that I've invited to different chamber events and they're like, is this the one with Gordon Ramsay? I'm like, no, not yet. They're like, let me know when that one's happening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how I know it's a big pull. <laughs> yes, must, must have celebrity. Okay, mental note, all right. <laughs> oh goodness, of course yeah, I'd be yeah. there. I'd be there, I'd support you. I'd be there yes, for more thank support. You. Thank yeah. you, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, um, well, yeah, I'm glad you're doing that. I think that's great. So you get to you get to celebrate because not there are not a lot of people over here are going to celebrate. Um, no, yeah, I don't find the pond. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what. Yeah, what one would do? Like, I think it'd be. I feel like it would be super cool to be over there for one of the small local town celebrations. I'm gonna go to one of those. That sounds really fun and cute. <laughs> and like right. not overwhelming. Manageable. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, manageable. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> So that sounds pretty fun. Um, but uh, yeah, here, I don't know. Basically, they told me that I'll be in charge of decorating probably for the Jubilee. <laughs> so I'll have to get like a bunch of bunting and whatever, like, sure. British yeah. flags. Yeah, yeah. Pieces, or is this all outdoor banner kind of? That's a good question. This is all very early stages. <laughs> wow. Okay. But you have how long? Because you're, you're doing this when? Oh, well, so that's what we uh, were hoping before May, but basically we don't even know when yet. Yeah, okay. because we're, yeah, we're in talks. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me know. I'd, I'd like to hear how it's progressing and what you're doing. And, you know, when you're out shopping or if you're online shopping and you see cute stuff, just 
you know, that's what I always do. When I see something, I'm like, oh, oh, Amy needs to see that. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I know. Well, and so since you haven't been around for tea time, we got to catch you up. <laughs> or really, we have to get your opinion on things that we've been talking about. <laughs> I, I appreciate that anybody would place a value on it, but go yes, ahead. <laughs> absolutely. So we have, um, let's see, of course, uh, Prince Andrew losing his titles and and and, and i understand. And, go ahead go ahead, go ahead. yeah i would say and he has to go to trial the judge decided he's going to go to trial like that was a big thing too yeah oh golly so i read two things today based on that and one of them is that it is being tittered about that um catherine would actually take a military title uh to replace some of his one one or two of his titles Stop. <laughs> i know i know she is just i mean she is the darling over there i'm telling you they just don't, yeah they don't do anything wrong and she's great right. so um that's very and interesting the other thing that I, it is for yeah. a well not a anything she's a female with no military experience that's what i saying. yeah she doesn't have yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> everybody right. else at least has a tie to the military <laughs> right so the other article was, um, you know, Queen Elizabeth can do no wrong and she's coming up to 70 years on the throne and yeah. her legacy and her monarchy wow. is absolutely secured. But when she's not with us anymore, where, is, where does the monarchy stand? And they said right. that, you know, it just really remains to be seen, you know, what, what right. will Charles bring to the table to carry on? I think, I mean, correct me because I don't want to put words in your mouth. I think we know it's going to be basically kind of a hold period until William steps up. And I mean, yeah. there's so very little time for. Well, yeah, I'd say it, de it depends. It depends how long he lives. I mean, his dad lived to be what, 99 or whatever. <laughs> so, so he could have at least a bit of a reign. But I will say, I honestly hope that people will give him a fair shot at being king yes. because I think, like, whatever you may not like a lot of his personal life choices but um i think he he's been yeah right he's been he and his dad have been like all about the environment since way before it was cool to be right. talking about the environment like right. i think um you know he's all for kind of the modernization did you know they're doing a huge renovation on buckingham palace i yeah. happen to see that yeah, yeah. so it's like things that yeah have not been updated they're actually going to have electricity and running water i understand <laughs> that's yeah right well no, they're probably going to have safe electricity like they're probably going to have not fabric wires in the walls <laughs> <laughs> copper piping all the good stuff yeah. right right yeah. so um yeah so i think that is cool and that i think he just understands uh i would i would imagine i won't say assume i would imagine that he's aware of probably how he looks or how the public looks at him and sees him at least, you know, 50, 50 kind of like people are like, eh, you know, at yeah. best, <laughs> but, yeah. but I think, I think he, he, he won't do it with a granddad and a dad. I really do. I think he really has, you know, I, I think he's a very sensitive type person too. Um, yeah. you know, so I, I, I think, you know, I think his, his image has softened over the years too true that's true yeah i think he won't do anything i wouldn't expect him to do anything crazy or shocking at least on purpose because i think he wants to make sure it's there for william and because yes. you know so yes i i have faith in him <laughs> i'm i do too I, I think it will be different but i think it i think it will be neat to see i think it's um I mean, he just waited so long. I mean, that's the purpose. Yeah, of the that's the sad part. Is like, as she keeps breaking records, like he, he incidentally breaks records for waiting the longest. Right. Exactly. Um, exactly. But um, so it's so bizarre. Although, uh, let's see. So there's a book that I'm reading that uh, my mom got me for Christmas. It was one that I had heard. The author speak on my royal podcast a while ago. So he, I'm trying to think, I think it might be called Long May She Rain. Uh, it's okay. in the other room, so I won't go grab it. But uh, <clears throat> it was, it's the book. The whole point of it is basically 
how to live a, a long and healthy life as the queen has done. And oh. so, so he basically kind of studied and looked for like patterns and different things that she's done throughout. And so you I'm like, you this to me before, like, I did. Know, yeah. Yeah. Long, back long, when long I heard him, that, yeah. Right. Back when I heard him talk about it. So okay. now I'm reading it. It's very, it's very cute. And it's definitely, uh, you know, give us little tidbits about things that you wouldn't necessarily know that they, they do there. But um, what's funny is that with the drinking, uh, they, it's like, we all know the queen has what, like, you know, a gin and tonic and like champagne, like she has her daily cocktails and stuff. And mm -hmm. Yeah. And apparently she usually has one glass of red wine at luncheon and she will not use the word lunch because she thinks it sounds like tacky or whatever it, every it's always luncheon <laughs> so um <laughs> so uh but they they said like she is so basically so in the mindset that she is living for like you know for her country and everything that she won't get tipsy on purpose because she never knows when she might get called yeah. to something that's Absolutely. important and Absolutely. I was like yeah and they mentioned that you know her uncle even before abdicating uh was basically would get totally trashed at like dinners and stuff and um so what they say they said he wouldn't even be able to rule a tennis court <laughs> it's like what they, they wow. said about. but but with her, uh, apparently there was one time where she had got a second glass of red wine at lunch at luncheon and the queen mother was still around and the queen mother was like, a little bit, dear, you still have to reign the country. <laughs> and, like, and it was like, but she was like joking. She was just messing with her because right, she right. Like, well, rarely, I, rarely I, does more. Yeah. I, I but, think the queen mom could drink anybody at the table is my understanding. But. Yes. That, yeah, that was, yeah, that was also what was said. And so the, yeah. Do so what the, mommy says, not what mommy does. Exactly. And mm -hmm. they said like the queen that she can make like basically one drink last the whole night and you won't even notice it if she's like, you know, at a cocktail party, whatever. Um, and because it's a gin and tonic, half the time it could be just tonic water and she's not That's even true. drinking. That's true. That's <laughs> um, true. Yeah, but the, it was neat. They said, I'm trying to remember why. There was some event that she was at where a lot of, like, I think she was some at someone else's place and a lot of alcohol was being served and a lot of food. And that's another thing is that she, she's very much about not overdoing it, right? So like the whole point of them eating slow and all these manners is so that they don't eat too fast and it gives them actually time for their stomach to tell them when they're Absolutely. full. Absolutely. And so that they don't look messy. So it's, yeah. Um, very careful, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, she, so at this place, apparently she was full and didn't want any more to drink, but, you know, if she stops, that means everybody has to stop. And yeah. she knew everybody else didn't want to stop. So she basically moved stuff around on her plate and like pretended to be doing stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> so that so that she didn't like ruin, ruin the party for everyone else, which I thought was really neat. <laughs> I, there, there's a scene in a movie and it's um, the queen, um, Abdul and the queen, the queen and Abdul. Yeah, and I haven't seen that. About Victoria's, uh, uh, Queen Victoria. Oh, okay. And she came to the table and the table, it's the big state table that probably has like a hundred people at it. And they're still serving the end of the table. And she is just ravenous, eats, 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 push it aside. And they, and they start clearing. It's like, uh, what the <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so true or not, I don't know. Uh, right. you know. Queen Victoria's girth would tell you that she had a ravenous. Uh, That's appetite. true. Yeah, she did yeah. Want to say, she said, I never feel full. Oh my god. So um <laughs> like, do you have a tape room? <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah. That's crazy. So yeah, so it's it's a fun, it's a fun read. Um and uh it, it mentioned, I don't remember now in what uh context, but it was talking about how uh it's kind of like no one ever wants to actually be king or queen. Like uh, they said that, I guess there's a story that when, uh, I guess when uh, their uncle abdicated, um, Margaret looked at uh, 
Elizabeth and was like, poor you. <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> well, and especially though, no, but they had that predisposition too from their dad who didn't want it. That's true. How, that how is very true. Was. But that I, is you know, I, but a lot of people say that you know that they're you know they want to be famous and then they get the fame and they're like this isn't that fun right, um right. and I, you think about um harry's previous girlfriend is it um is it chelsea okay. i can't remember what her name is i'm seeing yeah. her blonde uh but she yeah. I, I think she told him when she said I, I don't want that i don't want right. all that you know what his mother had to face and everything else like that right. so um yeah right. i mean and and they point they pointed out too, which is like, oh yeah, that's totally right. That basically, as time has gone on and the royals have been less like I guess instrumental in things or you know less important in a way, right. the busier their schedules get. So like the queen, you know, it's like when she was they said like I don't know when she was eighty two years old, she did over four hundred <laughs> up like. Things in one year, yeah, and it's like they're just constantly going. So I thought, oh, that is interesting because, yeah, like back in the day, what do you do? You just hang out and like do whatever you want. You don't see the public. No, exactly. <laughs> now it's the exact opposite. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was, um, and and it was a Latin term, something mysterium, but basically where they were trying to maintain if, if people didn't see you, that right. it maintained this mysterious. Um, holy aura that you know but the more they're out there because that's what as as time goes on with the invention of radio the television now all this you know um social media and everything else right. people want to see people want you and, and they want to see that you're a lot like them well the more right. that they see that you're a lot like, like them the more they start going well you're no better than me why do you get the gold piano why do you get to do this why are we spending billions of dollars on mm -hmm. you and your family every year yeah, so, yeah, yeah. um yeah, so it, it shifted. It really yeah. shifted. And that's what that was kind of what that article was saying too, is you know, when, when Charles comes up, it's like people might be, they associate Britain and the Queen, Britain and the Queen, and they are like this. Right. But that relationship and special feeling is not there yet really with Charles right. and the country. Right. So um they're saying, you know, is it possible that the monarchy would dissolve under him? I, I don't know. Right. We'll see. Right. Hopefully not. I d yeah. I Fingers crossed. I, I'm a, I don't know, an optimist a lot of times. So right. I think, I think that it is not going to be as bad as what people. I, I don't think it's going to be awful. I think, no. at, I think at most it will end up being like, uh, or not at most, but I feel like it will maybe even out at some point and it'll just be like, oh, like they're boring Royals or whatever. Like, yeah. you yeah. know, like it we're, brings we're, waiting, we're waiting for William. Yeah, <laughs> true. And it brings the tourism. And, and Kate and Will, and they seem to be so in sync and mm -hmm. there seems to be an affection there that I know they're not, you know, no public display of affection, but you can right. tell that they have you incredible, yeah. you know, chemistry and, uh, and respect for each other and what, right. the, what the other one does. So um, I think, I, I just think they'd be shooting themselves, England would be shooting themselves in the foot by getting rid of the monarchy. Getting rid of them. Not having yeah. the monarchy associated with it. Right, anyway, right. It's my and opinion. that's... Yeah, that's interesting. So that was, you bring up Kate. So that was another thing the book was pointing out about how the queen works so hard. Um, and she basically, uh, it says like, she doesn't expect anyone to work as hard as she does, but she expects you to work. So they, they commented that um, it was, I guess, it, it was noticeable that when Kate first got introduced to the queen and stuff like basically around that time she didn't especially have any job she was doing like kind of like you know whatever that age does you just kind of float around right right <laughs> um, and them. they said but like shortly after she met the queen all of a sudden she was a buyer at some fashion house <laughs> it's like and it was and so they were like yeah basically saying like probably it was like uh you gotta get a job like you can't just hang out <laughs> like <laughs> You're gonna work <laughs> if you're well, in and, and with, with Kate's prospect of possibly becoming the future queen. Right. Well, that's true. Yeah. The company would be stupid not to take her up and try to make. Oh that yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like yeah, that probably right there is pretty good on your resume. But also, mm -hmm. it was she had to go. Yeah. Let it be known that she what needed are your a job. You marry Prince William. Hired. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are your qualifications? Well, I was referred by the queen. <laughs> 
okay. So That's good. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. But um, has got the degree, the seven degrees and the, you know, has all the, the qualifications and the talent and everything. No, no, no. We got okay. her. Right. So um, my, uh, so Piper had a friend over on uh, Sunday and she is like seven. It was the first time they were meeting, but uh, she's seven. And <laughs> apparently she uh, saw the queen. I mean, I don't even know which queen she saw, if it was in my house or on the car, <laughs> but she saw her somewhere. And, and asked her dad and she goes, oh, is that Betty White? <laughs> Like, of course, the seven year old only knows about Betty White currently. <laughs> that and is she, hilarious. That is so funny. I can see. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. All the little old white haired ladies walking around. Right? They can all be the queen for crying out loud. They could all okay. be. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so funny. I know. That's why the queen has to dress like she dresses. <laughs> you know, she's not just any old lady. <laughs> yeah. Um, but would you but, like look at green tape? Yeah, the yeah. lime green. I'm sorry, I can't stand that lime green. You don't like the lime green? green? Oh, that's so funny. Green. I love her in the purple, in the lavender. Old oh, yeah. ladies, lavender, always good. Pinks, dark yeah, pastels. Yeah. Even yeah, her the red pink, is very good. Yeah, the pastels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. So I have to bring up two things that have come up in tea time okay. um, to get your input on it because I thought they're very interesting points. So, and it is regarding Prince Andrew. But um, it is one, uh, basically, Trevor was saying, like, let's just look at her as, like, a 95-year-old, take royalty out of all of it, you know, take all of this, like, press coverage and stuff. He's like, look at all of the, like, crap that your children have put you through and continue to put you through. Like, <laughs> Prince Andrew, who, you know, reportedly was her favorite anyway, right, her favorite right. child. Um, and he's just like, even disappointing you at age 95, like, right. it's like, come on guys, <laughs> like, you know, yeah. it's like they, they each have their time of like making life hard for her. Yes. Um, well, and down to, I don't know if her grandchildren disappoint her. I know there's been some heartache with, you know, that's true with Harry. Yeah. With Harry. Harry. And, and yeah. You know, accusations there and stuff like that. So, right. um, so that's true. So they, yeah, they made it a little tough, but it wasn't, um, yeah, there weren't affairs or inappropriate behavior or yeah. <laughs> or death. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So I I thought that was interesting, and um, we were discussing at that point we were discussing like we basically we were still waiting for the judge to say if he was gonna have to go to trial or not, mm -hmm. and so we were talking about if he did, and Kat mentioned she goes oh, I would hate to be on that jury. And I was like, what? Like, other than just everybody said, you know, hates jury duty, like, why would you say that? And she was like, I don't want to be part of the first case with like a royal, like, you know, and like a prince in that. And I was like, what? And she, because she was like, I don't want to go down in like the history books as like having something to do with it. Either way, either way it goes. Like, she didn't want to be part of it. And so... So then we asked Trevor and Trevor, of course, can't be called to jury duty anymore over there. But he, he was saying like, yeah, he understood kind of the sentiment uh, that that Kat was saying. And I was like, that never would have occurred to me. Like, that's the American in me is like, oh, yeah, like he's a prince, but like, take him to court. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, but, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Hmm. And then, but then we thought, but then we talked more and we related it a lot to like OJ, the OJ trial. And we're like, yeah, yeah. we're like, think, we're like, we, I was like, can you name any of the jurors? No. no. It's, it's going to end up being like the attorneys and the judge. That's who will be remembered. Yeah. So, you know, I remember Judge yep, Ito. Judge Ito, Johnny Marcia. Cochran. Yeah. And Marsha. Oh, what's your name? See? I watched, what is it? See, Marsha. Uh, so. I watched the whole yeah show and heard her name a million times. Now I've forgotten it. <laughs> yeah, um, I can't think of her name. 
Yeah, yeah, but so yeah, nobody, nobody's going to know the jurors, especially if it's and will she be, you know, are they sequestered? How long is it going to go on? All that kind of right. stuff. Right. I thought. I guess they do sometimes. Like you might get asked to talk about it after the fact. Like, True, but, but I think that would be. be but that you don't have to, and I feel like that would be a short term, you know, annoyance. I don't think they'd go after you for years. <laughs> like, right. Only right. while the story's yeah. interesting. Yeah. But I thought, yeah, I just thought that was a very interesting meet, point. <laughs> you're not going to meet King Charles one of these days and go, oh, yeah, and I started on the, ju the, ju the jury. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Or he'll be like, I recognize and you. <laughs> and then he's, he's like, I'd like to shake your hand for voting <laughs> for voting for him to be guilty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, and you know Charles, he wants the fringe. Oh, yeah. He wants oh, yeah. to get rid of the fringe anyway. And yeah, uh, yeah, and so. yeah. Yeah. Which, as we speak of the children, I actually don't know much about what Edward. What does he do? What's his thing? Has he caused any trouble? No, <laughs> no. In fact, he's been a really positive face for the monarchy okay. recently. Um, when um, his for his dad's funeral. Um, I think uh, there were some things about him. Um, his wife is into the uh, uh, Count Countess of Sussex, isn't that? Who it? Oh, okay. I think that's who it is. Um, anyway, he just seems like a regular guy. Um, and but no, I don't think he's caused any. But but okay. nobody paid, he was number four. Well, who cares? You know. Well, that's what you say. Yeah, it wasn't like it. Didn't but I was just thinking as far as saying like all of her children have caused her issues. It's like yeah. well, I guess not all of them. <laughs> I don't, I don't think Edward has. You know, but 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 that we know of publicly, no public issues. I mean, we have no idea what was private. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. A point. So yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So um, I would. Was there, we got to break something up. No, I was going to ask you when do we get you back at tea time. <laughs> But you can. Oh goodness! Talking. Well, it's funny as I'm sitting here. Somebody just asked me if uh, I can substitute teach. Um, I'm supposed to be on the books on Friday, as it is. Um, I'm still having foot issues. Um, oh. I'm going in for a procedure finally um, that no insurance company on the face of the planet will cover. So, but um, I've heard good things about it, and I have high hopes that my foot is going to heal, and I will hopefully be able to uh, be able to take walks again. I mean, I'm, mm. I, I can't do a lot because the nerve on my foot is exposed. So when I take a step on that ball of my foot, like coming downstairs, yeah, yeah. downstairs it feels like I'm stepping on a bristle brush every time. And it oh. Just, oh, that's awful. Um, so yeah, so I start that next Thursday. Okay. And, um, but that is my understanding. I might be doing a lot of this, which <laughs> means I can't do a lot of this. Right, right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so maybe you know, since I, I I can't be subbing a lot because I can't do the running around back. And oh, forth. right, right. The job that I'm that. taking, I'm like, I need to be in the classroom. I need, to, I know, I need to be sitting. Um, right. and that's just right now. The procedure I'm getting done is like a combination of injection. Mm -hmm. I'm really having a hard time getting past that one. No injection right into my foot. Then there's shockwave and laser, and then that's the first appointment. And then the appointments after that are a combination of shockwave, laser, laser, shockwave, laser, laser. So hopefully. Uh, what's the injection? Like, what are they injecting? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's, it's going into the ball of my foot. And that's, I mean. Are you awake for it? I, I think so. I think okay. so. I don't know if they're sedating me or not, or if they're going to, but I mean, can I just say it, it hurt to step on a Lego. Let alone, yeah. well, they've got to numb, they have to numb the entire. <laughs> I, I think so. Foot. I know they told me I could drive home, so I don't think they're sedating me. Oh, okay, um, yeah, I guess not. they might do something to numb the area before they do it. I don't know. Right. I'm, I'm I'm cringing at the thought at the moment. Yeah. So, um, oh goodness, it, it will happen. So, but hopefully, in those weeks that um, that I'm kind of sitting around and my foot doesn't feel like doing anything, um, then hopefully I can I can join you guys a couple of times or something. Sorry. Yes, because we had yeah. I think did you get to meet uh, Lilla yet? from Hungary? No. Okay. We no. have a new person who found us on a vet, right? She's from Hungary. Um, nice. So she's been on twice now. Yeah. And so that's fun. I was like, we're getting so international. I know, you are. <laughs> you are. Maybe one day Queen Elizabeth will show up. That's right. Yeah. She's on Zoom. Soon. 
yeah yeah um <laughs> but yeah i i can uh let you go but we did have one we did have one uh ex sort of exciting thing or i should say our first real creeper um on zoom on tea time last week uh a guy like whatever the zoom window came up and it just had his name like you know it was just black you didn't see him his camera was off um and he was muted and we were like hello like it was just me and lila at that point and it was like hi so and so like you got a new person you know whatever and we're like can you come on and then they didn't talk for a little bit then they write in the chat is it okay if i'm naked <laughs> oh jeez. so I, yeah so i so a little and i were laughing i just go no it's not and like ejected him from the room <laughs> yeah precisely <laughs> Yeah. But um, what's so funny is that so I told my mom this, and of course, like, you know, she's laughing, but also like, you know, ridiculous. And we all started talking about like Zoom bombing and stuff. Apparently, Trevor has been in so many Zoom rooms. He's seen plenty of Zoom bombs um, and that they can take over the hosting. I thought it was like they just pop in. Apparently, they can come over, take over. The only way to stop it is to just leave the room. The room. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Um, so. Oh yeah, so that is interesting. But um, so then my mom said she was telling my dad about it. And at first I'm like, why would you do that? Because do that. Dad, yeah. he's going to like lose his mind about yeah. how it's not safe or whatever. Right. Instead, he goes, well, maybe he was just trying to make a joke. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I know, I was like, um, when you don't know anybody in the room at all and you we've never seen you we and still you don't can, yes, like exactly. that's not how you st if that's if that's how you start out as joking with people like you're not you're not yeah. meant for us <laughs> no no exactly wrong forum yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah oh my gosh so, right so wow, fun times over there <laughs> creepy 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 yes. holy smokes yeah but well, is I'm it i'm oh, sorry go ahead Oh, no, you're fine. Go ahead and sit. I was just going to say, I, I'm going to have to go here pretty soon. It's almost time. That's to what I thought. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I would still, maybe in a separate conversation, just you and me, um, yeah. I am supposed to be offering, a, um, I'm doing a um, fundraiser with Jackie's school and right. where I'm going to be offering another. So I'm not doing a Valentine's Day box. I'm going to push on to a, like a springtime box, possibly Mother's right. Day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I would love to talk with you some of the ideas that I had for some of the offerings. There are a lot of white tea products, um, beauty products and things like that. Um, but anyway, uh, we can talk about that offline at some point, just a plain old conversation. Um, so I will get with you. Yeah, but this yes. was this was delicious. Absolutely delicious. Awesome. I, I am not you. allowed to have dessert tonight. Yes, thank you. I know. I was like, I'm going to wrap them up, put them in the fridge before the cats <laughs> attack. Right. <laughs> Well, I think your two most traditional are, of course, a spotted dick and sticky, st uh, sticky toffee. Toffee. Um, but uh, you know, so if you're looking for one or the other, yeah, I, I, I'd go with the, you know, sticky okay. toffee. It doesn't disappoint. It's very good. Um, yes. And the teas are really good. So when we do get offline, I the Scottish toffee yes. puer. I'll tell you. I'll tell you my source. Yeah, I think <laughs> some, some heavy cream and some sugar. That was just mm -hmm. delicious. Very yes. good. Awesome. That's true. Awesome. Well, well thank you well. so much. And enjoy yeah. your spring garden. Jackie's very much into uh, Alice in Wonderland. And I'm, I'm looking at it. All I can think of is I'm painting the roses red. I'm painting the roses oh. red. <laughs> Maybe it's. <laughs> That's great. We, we've been watching uh, the new Netflix movie, Riverdance, um, <laughs> which is pretty exciting because it takes place in Ireland. There's river dancing. Piper now dances around like river dancing. <laughs> and have to get her into some, into some clogging lessons, actually. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh. And yeah, and they play hurling in it, which is an Irish only sport. And I've known about it since the year 2000 when I went and got like my first hurling stick and ball known as a, sh a schlitter. <laughs> I guess they carefully. <laughs> um, yeah, they play that. And I was like, oh my God, now people are going to know. <laughs> It's not it, it, so. Is it what, what kind of show is it? I mean, I, I've been to River Dance with Michael Flatley and the, the Irish. Oh, sure. So it's a movie, it's an animated movie for kids. So it's okay. like a little boy and a girl, and there's like a whole adventure thing that happens. Uh, but the whole town, it's like they dance for the river, like you know, whatever okay. celebrating the river in town is a whole lot that goes into it, but it's really fun. <laughs> I'll have to take a look. Yes, yes. So awesome. Yeah.
All right. Wow. A lot of Irish music over here, actually. So, yeah. believe it or not. So, Jose grew up in the Irish part of Queens, uh, Woodside. And uh, you see a lot of the Irish influence in the yeah, area, yeah. buildings and the pubs and stuff. Oh, that's so, funny. So, we like Yeah. Them. Yeah. So, yes. Anyway, all right, honey, okay. this is delicious. Okay. Thank you so much. I yes, guess I get February. You. So, Valentine's offerings, possibly. And sure. uh, yeah. And if, um, if I'm not working on Friday, I will try to pop in. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah, next Love Friday me. I will definitely be somewhere with my foot up. So I will, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in with you guys probably next Friday. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Very nice. cool. Well, right. I will talk to you soon. That sounds good. Thank you again. Thank you. All right, Take bye. Care. Bye. <laughs>